All right, everybody, here she is. The one, the only. Star of Storage Wars Texas, Miss Mary Padian. Did I say that right, Padian, Mary? Padian, yeah. Padian, Padian, there we go. Padian. Close. How are you doing today? I'm I'm doing well. You, you're like uh, Miss Bubbly Personality of that show. <laughs> Nutbag. <laughs> Nutbag, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, are you I'm like that like 24-7? No, I mean, you know, I am a bubbly, like, fun person, but, you know, I'm just having the most fun with this experience, and, you know, they don't show all of the film that they film us, you know, I mean, we film five days a week, sometimes, you know, eight hours a day, so, really, you know, coverage that they show on each episode, it's so small, so, you know, like any other reality show, they just want the most interesting parts. Wow. So it's been great. Now, how did you get started in the in the whole business aspect aspect of it, like with the storage units and antiques and all that? Um, I before I was in Dallas, um, I was in New York for five years, and I worked at Architectural Digest, and I started out as assistant to the editor in chief, Paige Rents, and she. Um, was awesome and really wanted to promote me and thought I had a great eye. So I started doing these videos every month on Architectural Digest website called Mary's Fine. So okay. I find, you know, eclectic cool stuff. And then um, I moved home and I decided what the heck I'll open Mary's Fine. So it's finding <laughs> vintage cool stuff and just trying to find a way to make it look, you know, different and quirky and giving it a twist. Yeah, and, 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 like, is that basically what you do? Like, when when you buy these units, it's like you get stuff, and it's like you put them in your shop, your Mary Fine shop, and you just yeah. completely redo them. It's not like you really take things and resell them, as is, I should say. Oh, I do. I mean, I have – I just – I mean, my store is just a big jumble of mix of cool stuff, you know, that I think is cool. <laughs> and um, stuff that I fix up, or I keep it as is. So it's just a store of everything that I think is cool, no matter what it is or if I fix it up or not. Now, do you have, like, a, a background in art or anything? I mean, because you no. are very creative. I, I mean, you just, I'm like, just it, it. really, I mean, it's pretty amazing how, like, you can just, like, look at things and you're like, all right, I'm going to make, uh, I'll make an aquarium out of this, or I'm going to make a wine rack out of this, or I'm going to do that. It, it's just, pr- I would never think of these things, and you're just like, boom, this is what we're going to do. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, um, I graduated UT with a photojournalism major, and I kind of grew up around design and stuff, I guess. Um, Nick Nicosia, who's a big artist, was in Dallas, and he's been in, like, the MoMA and stuff. Um, he, they grew up across the street from me. So um, his daughter, Katie, and I were best friends growing up. And um, I kind of just was around art all the time. And, um, you know, I'm just winging it. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I mean, I opened this store not knowing one thing about refurbishing furniture or how to paint properly. You know, I just, I had nothing to lose and I have no regrets. So wow. I just try stuff out. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, were you a fan of the uh, Storage Wars shows before you got on to the, the Texas show? No, I mean, cause they came in my shop randomly. I mean, this has all been oh, really? very random. I mean, one of the producer came in, and she had actually been filming down the street because the first season or whatever, um, I wasn't on it. And she came in and was like, you know, I told myself I didn't turn around. I'd regret it later. She's like, I'm on my break from filming. And um, she was just going to have me do a how-to on A&E's website of how to, you know, paint a piece of furniture. And now the rest is history. So, I mean, I have three younger brothers, and, you know, they watch the show all the time. But, no, I really, I mean, I've seen it maybe once or twice. (laughs) So did you think, um, like, when this was all happening, did you, like, have any doubts about doing it, or was it just like, oh, yeah, I'm in? 
No, it's it's funny because it's like it just felt right. I mean, I've always been a person that I trust my gut and I never second guess myself. And I mean, if you would ask me if I would try out for the show, I probably no, would say no. I'm not <laughs> trying out for a reality show, you know, period, no matter what show it is. But, right. you know, the fact that they kind of found me and they kind of found my talent because I was just trying to sell sell stuff and make my rent. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Now, what's what's like probably the weirdest? What's the weirdest thing you ever found in a storage locker? Um, let's see. Um, I found there was like an urn with someone's ashes in it, which was crazy. And um, like I think the prosthetic leg was pretty weird. It was like from oh. the 1800s, and of course wow. it was like from it was a. Um, <laughs> leg for the someone with from the knee down and so okay. I tried it and of course it like fit me perfectly because I'm five <laughs> one and everyone was short back then so <laughs> <laughs> the weird thing is like stuff like that like people collect like prosthetics and stuff that's even creepier yeah I know right I know <laughs> it's very to find in these units too I mean it's not <laughs> yeah how about like Money wise, what's like the most money you made off of one locker? Um, well, that's I mean hard to say. Like a particular because there's so much stuff, you know, like of all right. different realms. Like that's what's hard, you know, about my store too is I have to really dig through all this stuff and figure out sure. what I can really sell and what I can't because it's like baby clothes, toys, electronics. Right. So. You know, like the, um, the aircraft weighing scale. I mean, that was like twenty five hundred bucks. I mean, that was awesome it's, to weigh airplanes. And I mean, it's just the random stuff. You know, you find like the um, what else? The Byzantine firebomb. That was one of my favorites. Um, yeah, that was cool. Like, yeah, like stuff like that. I mean, it's like yeah. once in a lifetime opportunity. So. That's that's the one thing I don't like about the storage wars shows. Like they always, you know, they'll focus on like the one or two things in a locker that are like the grand prize or could be the grand prize. Where I want to know like the full Monty. Like what was the full take on the full locker? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. and that's the thing too. It's like you've no idea how many lockers that in storage auctions we go to. You know, they just film <laughs> a tidbit. Well, right. Because, I mean, we go to so many, and there's other people that win, and blah blah blah. But you know, there's only a certain time allotment allowed for each buyer on the show and stuff, and so they just show the really good parts. So, 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 so much how many? Crap, it's not even funny. <laughs> so, how many? Like, on an average week, like how many auctions would you, would you go to per week? Uh, two or three, probably. And they would go each week with you guys and film all those? Yeah. And, like, I think the best thing that they did now, like, looking back, not being filmed, is they just filmed us back-to-back, you know. So, for me, I mean, I didn't know any better, you know, than to just be me. And so they really got to, you know, film me in my element. And I think right. it's it was important because... You know, all the producers and the crew, I mean, they're all my age. And so after a while, I mean, you get so comfortable around these guys. So it was fun. It was like, you sure. know, they're my brothers. Right. So I would forget that, you know, the um, camera was even on me. <laughs> <laughs> so. Now, now watching Storage Wars, I, I always like, I, I love watching it and I hate watching it because as I watch <laughs> it, I sit there and I think to myself, like, it's it's such a cool job, and it would be so cool to do, and I can make all this money. And then I think to myself, especially when the shows are are you know the the, the new seasons are on and they're you know they're fresh in everybody's mind and everybody's watching them. I think to myself, how many other people think that and then go and try to start doing it? Oh, I know, and especially now. I mean, with all the store door shows, you know, it's like ridiculous. Even now, when we go, there are people there you know, just to see us on the show. So they'll just bid, and they bid, 
you know, of the lockers. Right. So we have to pay so much more than – because I had gone to, like, two or three um, auctions alone when I first o- opened my store, and it was like I got these lockers for so cheap. I mean, ridiculous. Right. So it's just – it's crazy now how, you know, well-known and – because it looks so fun. I mean, yeah, I don't want yeah. to think, you know, finding a treasure. <laughs> and <laughs> it's funny, too, because my, my cousin, he, he loves the show, too, and he, he would call up every time it's on. He's like, are you watching Storage Wars? Are you watching Storage <laughs> Wars? And he's like, come on, bro, I got money. We'll start buying units. <laughs> and I'm like, do you realize how many people are probably thinking that right now, the same yeah. thing, <laughs> and doing it? And the, the price of the the units must be through the roof now. Where people like oh you are probably like so pissed at the people oh, on the street so that are pissed. attempted to do it. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, I, I, me. I mean, running this business, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I'm like just winging it, like at night reading Idiot's Guide to Running a Business. I mean, you know. <laughs> so, oh, <that's> yeah. <laughs> now, do you get a lot of that, though? Like, a lot of people will just come out just to. Like they find out when you guys are filming, and they're just going to come out and either just to see you guys or to actually try to bid it up. Yeah, I mean, because there's some like you know at every auction we go to, we always see the same buyers because it's like now I know all the regular you know other guys who are doing just what we're doing exactly. They're just not being filmed, you know. Right. And then um, uh, before, like when the auctioneer finds out that he's, you know, auctioning for this auction or whatever, he'll put it on his website. And so, you know, the auction goers go to his website and then (laughs) they, you know, show up or whatever. Now, and the one thing I was thinking too, like, I guess basically almost, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, like I guess – I mean, you guys get paid per episode, so basically the money you're getting paid per episode is covering lockers you're buying. I mean, I mean, I really I can't discuss all that stuff, but right, um, yeah. So yeah, I mean that's that's just the way I was thinking. I was like, ah, well, I mean it's it's basically when they're filming, they're they're basically covered <laughs> so much. So yeah. Now, do you come across stuff where it's just like, you, you know what, like, I'm keeping this for myself. Screw, yeah. Screw everybody else. <laughs> do you? Um, what, what's, what's been, like, your favorite thing you've kept for yourself? Um, I just, I love old books, and um, so I'll find, you know, um, really old, like, first editions of, like, Heidi and Black Beauty and stuff like that, like, I love, because I'll keep those forever, and just um, art that I find, and um, black and white pictures. I found this one unit, and it um, had a trunk of this guy's stuff from the war, and it was incredible. It had a huge thing of love letters that him and his wife wrote back to each other. I mean, I stayed up one night reading them, bawling, crying all night. (laughs) And how cute. I mean, so cute. But, um you know, stuff like that, like all the history stuff I love. Yeah, it's, I, a buddy of mine, he used to go around to, um, like, auctions and just buy people's, like, old pictures. Yeah. And and, and I was like, for, at first off, first, like, I was like, initially, like, that's kind of weird, dude. And he's like, <laughs> no, man. Yeah. He's like, he's like, you got to look at the picture and just think, like, there's a story behind it. And just how cool, I mean, these, like, pictures from, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago, or whatever it is. And then I was like, well, I guess that is kind of cool. It's not as weird as I yeah. thought initially. <laughs> yeah, and, like, I, I hear you when it's weird, because sometimes I look at, you know, some of these, and it's like a portrait of someone, and I'm like, oh, great, oh, great. did I just, like, wake up to ghost or something? I can hop <laughs> my job now. <laughs> you know, but, um, <laughs> you know, but, yeah, those, I mean, pictures of just this one that I found. It was all from, like, the um, 20s. He traveled all over the world. So it's, like, pictures of New York and, like, oh, Rome wow. and just, yeah, and just that stuff like that. It's so neat to look back and see how it was. That's awesome. Now, who's, uh, 
on the show, who's your favorite uh, co-star? Oh, God, that's hard. Um, (laughs) Because, I don't know. I mean, Ricky and Bubba, I love them so much. Like, they're just two of the most, you know, genuine, down-to-earth guys. I mean, they're Texas. That is right. the definition of Texas, and like in the best way, greatest possible way, you know, because they, they get it too. They're not right. like these podunks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so they crack me up. I mean, Bubba cracks me up every day. He's hilarious, and you know, Jenny, I love so much because I know what she does. I mean, there's not many women who who do what we do. So, you know, right. I mean, I always joke, I'm like, we're freaking manual laborers. <laughs> I mean, people are like, do you work out? You know, I'm like, oh, yeah, morning, noon, and night. I was like, you want to <laughs> freaking haul some crap? <laughs> That's my <I> workout. <laughs> you know, and, and that was actually one of my questions, too. Like, I, I bet people really don't understand, like, how much real work is involved in it. Yeah, because we don't get any help, like, you know, doing that. They just film us. Like, we have to just, you know, when we open up a locker and excavate it, I mean, that's just us there, you know? It's like the film crew isn't there. (laughs) So, I mean, me and Jenny always are like, God, like, surprise, we haven't broken more things or thrown my back out. (laughs) It's ridiculous. Yeah, like, and, and that's what I would say to my cousin too. I'm like, you're seeing them buying and going through it real quickly, like, like the couple seconds that they show of you guys going through it. I said, you don't realize that's just like the tip of the iceberg because then you gotta oh, unload yeah. it, figure out what's good and what's not good. Then you gotta find people to buy it and this and that. I, I'm like, it's a whole thing. And like the sick stuff in there, like. Uh, every, some of them I've come out of, and I'm like, go to my doctor, and I'm like, do I have a disease? Because <laughs> all this crap that we have to go through, like old food and like bugs and stuff, I'm like, that probably is like a new uh, creature that just formed <laughs> food from the crap in there. I mean, it's just weird. It, oh yeah, people. That's one thing too about all this is people are crazy. I mean, it's so <laughs> interesting. To see, I mean, I'm like, why, why would you keep, like, a half container of old cotton balls? I mean, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess you do realize how wacky people really are when you're doing stuff like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, we, I found one unit, and it was a whole prostitute's unit. I, like, refused to even go in there, so I was like, oh, oh my God, sick. Oh. <laughs> It's just, yeah. Oh, that's nasty. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, at, at times, yeah, I, I, yeah, like, and I see a lot, like, a lot of times, like, you'll wear, like, the surgical gloves or whatever, and it's just, like, yeah, I'd want to wear, like, a full body suit at times. I know, right? That's when I'm, like, oh, my God, I freak out. I'm, like, do I have, like, bugs growing in my head? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I guess you wouldn't recommend doing this to, like, a germaphobe person. <laughs> no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, now your store, your Mary Fine store. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you get? I you. I would imagine you have people stopping by all the time just to see you. Yeah, I mean, like, and I'm the worst. I'm like the worst shopkeeper. Because <laughs> <laughs> again, like, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I'm just winging it. And the hard thing too is, you know, every single thing in my store. I find individually. So I have to, you know, go all over the place to find cool stuff because, right. you know, I'm picky and I'm picky about what's in my store and stuff. So, you know, you can't find a lot of things anymore because there's so many stores like mine now. So, um, yeah, that's been the tricky part because after the show, you know, um, a lot of people want to come in and buy stuff and I'm, you know, a one woman shop owner. So <laughs> just trying to do the best I can keeping good stuff in here. So a- any uh any weird fans come by? Any stalkers or anybody like that? Um, they haven't come by but the um mail that I get is quite interesting and the emails I get are 
you know, it's interesting. It's entertainment, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what's kind of weird too. Like, as I'm going through and I'm, I'm googling you to like find stuff on you and put questions together. I, I was going to say, do, do you realize like some of the top Google searches for you are uh, about <laughs> your feet and a bit and that I you're hot? I saw that feet. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, that that's 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 weird. That's just so wrong. <laughs> I know. It's so weird. It's, it's like, I don't know. It's just funny. This whole thing is just funny. You know, because I'm just normal. I'm like everyone else. I mean, so it's just funny to have these people like three-page letters, you know, saw you through the TV and we're soulmates. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's too funny. Now, how about, um? I mean, for for you yourself overall, I mean, how was it? being recognized now that on the street or in the store or I mean it's weird you know and I think that that's still a good thing because you know I don't think I've changed at all because I I'm from a huge family I mean I'm the oldest of literally like 42 first cousins freaking Catholics and you know I hang out <laughs> with my family a lot here so you know they laugh because they're like it's just Mary you know it's just me so it's right. weird when people recognize me because I'm like, you want my autograph? Um, if you give me yours, then I'll give you mine. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's what your family think of it all? I mean, I, I see that they're on the show a lot, like your brother or your dad yeah. is on. And, and what do they that's think of everything? Thing, yeah. That's a great thing is, like, all the people who run the show, I mean, they really love me for who I am, and they respect me, and they love my whole family because we don't really give a crap, you know? <laughs> right. We are who we are, and... You know, we're not going to be something that we're not ever. So that's been so much fun. You know, my brothers especially, I mean, they're well, if we, I go out with them, you know, that's their pickup line for girls. They're like, hey, do you know who my sister is? <laughs> <laughs> you oh, know, to help them. Funny. Yeah. I mean, they're funny about it. So. That's too funny. Wow. So so what's, uh, what's on the horizon for Mary and Mary Fines? I mean, day by day, you know, just winging day it. Day by day. <laughs> day by day. I mean, you you really are just winging it. it. I mean, you, you keep saying you're winging it. So, you, I mean, you really are. Yeah. And you're, that's awesome. I mean, I thought right now I would never guess I'd be on Shores Wars Texas. Are you kidding me? I thought I'd be married with three kids right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have a store and I'm on Shores Wars. So, anything. <laughs> Wow. Now, how about um, I, season three just finished, what, back in January, was it? Yeah. Um, I don't know. The show, as far as I know, it's on hiatus, so oh, wow. you know, hopefully we'll get a call to do another one, but who knows, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, we need more storage wars. Come on now. I know, right? So we'll yeah. see. How about if they did, like, their own show about you? Would you be up for doing your own show by yourself? I mean, heck, I don't have a husband. I don't have any kids. <laughs> I mean, why the heck not, you know? So, I, I I mean, you just have that personality. Like, you're you're perfect for TV and, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they can well, definitely I make a whole it. show around I mean, you. Well, it's, it's weird, whatever, but to even hear, but, you know. It's just, again, it's so great that they just, they make me comfortable enough to be able to be myself, you know? Because, right. I mean, I am, I can be a complete nutbag, as uh, you guys have all seen. But I can't <laughs> be like that in front of a lot of people, you know, unless I'm comfortable, because I can be really shy. But all the film crew, I mean, they become like my brothers and stuff. So they make me comfortable enough to just <laughs> let my nutbag self just, you know, show. So, <laughs> how about uh, how what do you think about the, like the world of social media? Because I noticed like, uh, I, I mean you're really cool with it, where you you'll retweet stuff and all that I've put out, and I see right away your fans jump on it and they're retweeting in favor. I'm like, wow, her following is very dedicated. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like that's the thing. Like, I don't write anyone back, you know. Honestly, like the only people that I do write back to 
is like young girls, you know, because as I was a young girl and, you know, to have a role model in your life that, um, you know, you look up to, I mean, that's important. Sure. And, and so I'll write back to them like, oh, thank you so much for being fan, blah, blah, but that's it. I mean, I mean, no matter how like normal it is or whatever, I mean, I really do appreciate it. I read them, but I don't respond and like tweets and stuff. I'm terrible at Twitter because I, I just can't like, what am I going to write? Like, Hey, I'm at the store. <laughs> Just hanging out, you know, and uh, who cares? <laughs> right, right. And then so. to with that, one, one, one of the, the weird uh, uh, Mary Feet uh, Googlers will come by or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so who knows? <laughs> you never yeah, know. So, um, but, you know, yeah, so if there's something said, I'll just retweet it and whatever, because that's, for me, that's easiest. <laughs> right. That's funny. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I, I hope they do another uh, season, or, or actually, I hope they do more than one season for you, and uh, for myself too, because I enjoy the show. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. I want to wish you a lot of yeah, luck, Mary. Yeah, so fun. Thank and, you. And good luck with the store. I hope it uh, keeps blossoming and growing, and okay, all the luck well, in the world. Thank you so much. Thank you. Much. Thank yeah. You. Hey, before, before I let you go, can you just cut a quick ID for me and say, uh, you know, this is Mary from Storage Wars, Texas, and you're listening to Totally Driven Radio. Yeah. This is Mary okay. from Store. Oh, sorry. Start over. Go ahead. Yep. This is Mary from Storage Wars, Texas, and you're listening to Totally Driven Radio. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks. All right, thanks. Take care, Bye. and I'll be in touch. Bye. Okay, sounds good. Bye. All right, everybody, there she goes. Mary from Storage Wars, Texas. A look inside the world of Storage Wars and Mary Finds. What a lot of fun that was. She's a fun girl. There you go. All right, everybody. We're either going to take a commercial break or I'm going to keep babbling because this was pre-taped. So let's find out. 